Welcome to the Great Movie Quiz. The quiz tests how good people's movie knowledge is. Today we are joined by two contestants to see if their film got knowledge and you know. Who are these contestants? John Felipe from Shropshire. <laughs> Daniel Brown from Lincolnshire. The rules of the games are that there are two rounds and each round there will be no, no questions put to you. And for each every question you get right, a point will be awarded. You'll get a total at the end of each round and your your points will be totaled up and the winner is whoever has the most points in the game. Round one is a quick fire round. You'll have one minute to answer as many questions as possible and each correct answer will be one point. If you don't know the answer, just say pass. We'll have Dan answer the questions first. Contestant number one, Dan, are you ready? Yes. Right, your time will start once the first question is read. Ready? Yes. How many Marvel Cinematic films are there currently? 22. What is the name of episode 9 of Star Wars? The Rise of Skywalker. Who played Batman in The Dark Knight? Chris... <laughs> Christian Bale. What was the first coloured Disney feature length film to be released? Cinderella. <laughs> Who could play Star Lord in Guardians of the Galaxy? Um, <laughs> Chris Pratt. What film was released in State Box? Back to the Future. What year was Jaws released in cinema? 1974. How many Infinity Stones are there? Six. Who won the Oscar for Best Picture in 2019? Green Book. Who directed Saw? Thank you, you got seven points. D Jack, it's, it's your turn. turn. Uh, Jack, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Time will start after the first question is read. Which Welsh actor starred with Jodie Foster what? in The Science of the Lands? Uh, Anthony Hopkins. In which language was Crouching Tiger in the Dragon Films? Mandarin. How many days did it take David Niven to go around the world? Eighty. What is the first name of actress Sarandon? I have no idea. Skip. What are the four, four titles of the three Austin Power movies? Uh, skip. Which comic book hero provided a big break from Mexican director Del Toro in 2004? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Which 1970s film is about a giant ape and was a remake of a 1933 movie. King Kong. What is the name of the villain in the first Superman film, film in 1980, played by Gene Hackman? Lex Luthor. What was a 1982 film starring Jeff, Jeff Bridges as a computer software program, programmer battling to escape from being trapped inside his own program? Tron. And. In 2005, Steven Spielberg and Peter Jackson revisited. Classic sci-fi stories for major movies. What were these two films? Uh, was one of them War of the Worlds? And... Welcome back! This is round three. In this round, you'll be given a quote from a film. And you have to guess which movie you quote it from. You will get a bonus point if you get who says it as well. Right, are you, are you both of you you will be taking a turn to answer each quote. So are you both ready? Yes. Right. Right. First question. First one is for you, Jack. Okay. The quote is, "Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn." Gone with the wind. Dan, are you talking to me? <laughs> I don't know. Jack, everything that light touches is our kingdom. Oh, it's a uh, Viking. Dan, I feel the need, the need for speed. Fast and Furious. Jack, the martini, shaken, not stirred. Dan's Bond. Dan, I understood that reference. Um, the Avengers. Jack, I found your lack, lack of faith disturbing. Uh, Star Wars Darth Vader. Dan, it's just a fetch room. 
It's just a walk. Just a fresh wound. Oh, I knew that. I think I know one of these. I'll pass, I can't remember. Jack, huh? I'm, I am serious and don't call me Shirley. Anyway. Dan, we get the warhead and we hold the world ransom for one million dollars. The super suits? What? The total for the show is eight points. Jack, your total for the whole show is 14 points. Wow, that's a surprise. And we have to win, huh? Jack!